Good day, Gemini viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning in to Just Be Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your awesome energy. And thank you for clicking on like, subscribing to my channel, and also for clicking on that notification bell. That will let you know when I am going live or posting new videos. Today, I am shuffling for the Gemini Collective's Greatest Good for this romance reading for May 2023. I'm trying to send general reading, not personal. Uh, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, so I am shuffling. We're gonna actually start today with the Romance Oracles to get an overall reading, an overall energy for your reading. So Spirit, what does the Gemini Collective need to hear regarding love and romance? For May 2023, what needs to be revealed for their greatest good and for the good of others? Don't forget to click on like. And if you would like a more personal reading, please see the description box below on how to book one. See if I can get one more for you. We'll see what this one is. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That's a huge... Um, a huge revelation loving yourself first before loving anyone else and i know there's certain aspects about um you know there's always certain aspects about ourselves that we um are going to dislike um and change i feel like most of the time it's physical like our bodies but what doesn't get addressed is changing our attitudes towards some people and our um, way of thinking. And that is really important too, when it comes to respecting yourself. Um, a lot of people are, um, are self-deprecators. You know, they call themselves jerks and treat themselves very harshly. Um, you know, when they use their, in their head voices. And um, that's not a loving way to speak to yourself. So not just loving yourself, setting up boundaries, that kind of thing. But I also am seeing that this is a, a indication that respect needs to come, you know, on the inside too. Um, now we have children your love life is being affected by children. So uh, maybe you have children. Maybe you want to have children. Uh, maybe you're looking for somebody who, um, you know, to have children with. Maybe you are, um, are trying to find somebody who would father your children or mother your children. Um, maybe it's a turn off for you. Maybe you don't want to have children. Maybe they have children and it's not something that you want in your life. Um, which is, And it's all okay. All of it. Because we're all different people. So, you know, if somebody has children and you're not into it, then you're not into it. Walk away with love. Um, but be honest about it. And upfront about it. Um, and same goes with, if you do want children, make sure you're upfront and honest about it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's an important thing in a relationship and, um, it needs to be discussed. Um, if you're open to it, if you're not open to it, it's, it's a, it's a game changer. It really is. So, um, so make sure you're focusing on your wants and needs, your love for yourself first. And if that involves children, so be it. If not, 
but something something's gonna change whether you have children it could be good or bad uh let's let's see what the tower says all right let's move on to the tarot i am shuffling for gemini collective's greatest good for love and romance spirit for may 2023 thank you for giving me clear messages for the gemini collective in love and romance for may 2023 What do we have, Spirit? Thank you. And a couple more, Spirit. What does Gemini need revealed to them for their greatest good? Okay, so the first card that came out is the Eight of Cups. Um, that is a walking away from a situation or circumstances because you're looking for something more. You're looking to level up in a situation. You're looking for something that is missing from your soul. Something that you feel, there's something that you feel is not there. And while it seems like maybe the person you're with or whoever, this could be somebody that you're interested in, this could be a relationship you're already in, um, this could be a relationship that you've been in for a long time. So while it seems like from the outside that everything's perfect that you have everything and it might even feel that way to you but there's something else you're longing for there's something else that's missing there's something missing in your life and that could be it doesn't necessarily have to mean that you're walking away from a relationship you're walking away from the stagnancy and going to find what it what it is you need. This could be maybe going back to school, maybe finding another job. It might be finding another person. I'm not gonna lie, but it doesn't have to be. I feel like people look at this card and, and see this walking away, but it doesn't mean necessarily that it's walking away from a person. You could be walking because you need to find spirituality. You could be walking towards, um, like I said, a new job. A new relationship um, maybe you're walking towards a creative outlet you know it doesn't necessarily mean that you're just leaving a person behind because you know you're something's missing from your soul and it could be like that for some people you could be walking away from somebody because the person that you're with is no longer serving you but it doesn't have to mean that so I don't want you to think like oh my gosh my first card is the eight of cups uh, we'll, we'll clarify that. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, I do see though that if you are walking away from a relationship, this might, you might have given it all you, you had. This is a sign of giving it one more try, not being defeated, trying over and over and over again. But, um, you know, how many times can you say just one more time? You know, um, you're a warrior. You've gone to battle in your relationship. Relationships aren't easy and you have gone for it. But um, at some point you have to put up boundaries and say, I don't know if I can do this anymore. But you're not going down without a fight. Okay, I do see that this is going to be rewarding for you. There's going to be an emotional connection. Maybe you're rekindling um something with your partner um i was just told to look at this flame so maybe you are rekindling a an, a flame with your partner or with somebody that you're rekindling something with um 
but this is going this king of cups energy is coming into your life you know it's going to bring you a lot of of reward a lot of emotional happiness this person's going to want to um, be with you on an emotional level not just a physical level this person's going to want to get to know you and know you for a really long time and know you um deeply um get to know everything about you your flaws and all all right so let's clarify this eight of cups energy eight of cups spirit what do you mean by the eight of cups for our gemini collective eight of cups for the gemini collective okay four of swords five of cups and the page of wands there is you, you have been looking at this situation for a long time you there's a feeling of um really examining the relationship that you're in but i feel like this might be one-sided um like you got into something you're paying more attention to. Um, something that, that maybe, maybe caught your eye when you were examining. Like this could be something that you were involved with like an extracurricular activity maybe you're taking a course maybe you're working overtime but there's something that's distracting you from what we what really matters there is a distraction here and i feel like because it wasn't this stagnant energy that you were in that it gave you a lot of excitement it gave you a lot of you started to feel alive again and i'm hearing that's why you wanted to maybe want to walk away you're looking for this to feel alive again you know whatever was distracting you is making you feel a lot of excitement a lot of energy um, and you're going to, you want to look for that now. Um, it's like somebody opened something up in you, like this energy in you, somebody or something. And I feel like there's a new group of people that you may be hanging out with or associating with. Maybe you joined a group or, um, like I said, an extracurricular activity. Um, maybe because um, you were feeling bored and stagnant and you joined something. Um, maybe it's a gym or um, like a YMCA type of, of thing um but whatever this thing is it's you're excited about it you're you're excited but it's also distracting you a little bit from your relationship you know you're having fun doing stuff there's an excitement there you're meeting new people but there's it's distracting you from from what matters and now that you have this you know new excitement you want to keep that high of excitement and uh i feel like you're going to look for more excitement <sighs> okay so yeah this is making you feel young again making you feel like you're on top of the world childlike
I heard the word invigorating. Um, so yeah, there's definitely something that's lighting you up. Spirit just keeps telling me to look at this light, this torch. Maybe you're carrying a torch for somebody. Maybe it's, you're carrying a torch from so, for somebody from the past with this uh, nostalgia card. Maybe you've connected with somebody from the past. But your self-esteem is, is like you're feeling good. You're feeling great about everything. Um, you know, maybe you're single. Yeah, this is going to be either you might be reigniting with somebody. This could be you reigniting your, your rekindling a, like your relationship, maybe lighting a spark or going away, rekindling something in your marriage. This could also be meeting somebody, coming together with somebody. Um, I do feel like this is somebody you might already know, somebody that you... Um, have an established relationship with. There may, you might have be already in contact with them. Because this person is making you feel really, really good. And you're going to know them when you, you talk to them. You're going to know who this person is upon contact is what I'm hearing. Let's see this Nine of Cups. Spirit, what about this Nine of Cups energy for Gemini? Nine of Cups for Gemini. What needs to be revealed? Nine of Cups for the Gemini Collective. Nine of Cups, Spirit. What needs to be revealed? Nine of Cups. And one more to clarify. Okay, so I, I, like I said, I feel like this is going to be an emotional connection with this, this King of Cups energy. Emotional connection. Um, you might meet this person at work or doing work for somebody or networking. Um, maybe this is a client of yours or you meet somebody at a party. Um, that you're invited to or you're working at. This is a gathering that you're working at. Um, however, I think you're too busy paying attention to other things. Once again, to realize what's in front of you. You're not taking this opportunity seriously. This is divine timing for this person. This is spirit giving you an opportunity in divine timing. And I, I feel like this you're going to miss this. You're going to miss this opportunity because you're not paying attention. You're paying attention. This, this might be somebody who is not somebody you would normally go for. Spirit might be giving you this opportunity because of that. Because the people that you're going for are not a good fit for you. If it hasn't worked out so far, then what makes you think it's going to work out again and again? You're in a cycle. So you need to move on to see this cup that's full. But you keep going after the same people over and over again. Somebody's going to be brought to you divinely. And... It's like you're going to miss it because you're not, you're, they're not, might not be your type of person. Okay, 
Okay, Geminis, we have big changes are coming here. Yep, I'm talking about the tower. If you don't start changing this cycle that you're in, then the universe is going to do it for you. Universe is bringing you people, the people that you need, okay, to heal yourself. You might not even know that you need healing, but you do. Have you done any shadow work? Have you looked at your shadow, at your shadow self? Because that's when you're going to realize that everybody needs healing. And the spirit's going to bring you the people that you need in your life to get that started for you. Now that may mean losing some people in your life that weren't meant for you, but this needs to happen so you can heal, so you can move on. I also have this, you're working on something, there's something big you're working on um, that's going to bring you in some income. Like I said, you might meet this person at at work. I'm getting a big work vibe or at an event for work or there's something maybe through somebody you work with. Or you may have met your person um, through work or an event at work or like I said, somebody you work with. You might already be with this person. And like I said, this person wants to get to know you on an emotional level. Like they want to share with you. They want to be a part of your life. And they're coming in and they're being divinely brought to you. And they see you as a queen. They see you as somebody who doesn't need them, but you want them. Or they want you to want them. Because they know you don't need them to survive. Yeah, but I am getting a big, big work vibe here. All right, let's see. Okay. Putting on my specs. Okay, so I have a new Oracle deck that we're going to use today. Gemini, you're the first ones who are using this deck. All right, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. What do we have for a concluding message for our Gemini Collective? Concluding message for Geminis, please. Concluding message for Gemini. This one. Okay, and since this is new, I'm going to read it to you. Growth. Inside myself, I've sown beauty with wounds, which speaks of my immortality in the expansive eternal song, softly bellowing in spirit. Okay, so this is 16... In ancient times, Beltane would have been considered to be start of summer, the season of action, abundance, and energy. The universe will present you with opportunities in such a period of growth, but you must be willing to meet opportunity with commitment and passion. Make those calls, start researching, and be ready to make your pitch 
when you're put on the spot. Your dreams are out there for the taking, but you must be willing to do the work to see them grow. You will have growth to remind you that success lies outside of your comfort zone. This card is challenging you to reach the things that are much bigger than you normally go for. Do not worry about the outcome, but instead focus on what you can do today to be one step closer to the goal line. Just as farmers have to do heavy lifting during the spring, pulling weeds, fertilizing crops, and monitoring growth, you will also need to expand energy to reap your harvest later down the road. Pulling growth together with bee or hand fastings is a sign that your path to success will involve the help of many others along your journey. Consider the help of a mentor or develop new skills to expand your knowledge and abilities. So you're in a period of growth, you're learning, you're expanding, you're becoming the person that you're meant to be. Um, and you know, I'm just here to guide you along your path. And I hope you join me again. I hope you click on like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, like I said earlier, please see the description box. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Gemini.